Tokyo. Just decoded. So, Major Saki is impatient. He will do nothing until I assure him that all enemy agents working with X-9 on Shadow Island are dead. Well, it's smart because it is careful. How about the American counter spy? X-9 has masqueraded as a Nazi officer for the last time. was a good one, Takahari. That finished the American, all right. We have an excellent report for Captain Groot and Abura. Well, I didn't think you'd still be here waiting for me. We almost gave you up. Nabura's men came by about an hour ago. One of them in my car. Yeah, I figured they'd bring your car back in. I couldn't get back to it. Were you successful? Uh, I don't know any more than I knew before. I've got to become Phil Corrigan again. And I'll need some money to pay Camber's head tax. Oh, and I purposely sent my identification papers to Australia. Oh, pardon, but one thing at a time. Now, Lynn can get through to Australia for you. I can hide you, and then while you're and still... while I'm waiting to hear from Australia, I'll be arranging a welcome for Mr. Drag Dorgan. And a little surprise for Tokyo, huh? <laughs> <laughs> accidentally discovered that one of Professor Albert Raymond's unsuccessful experiment in explosives is a perfect substitute for aviation gasoline. Yes, gasoline. No, sir, we have any sample here. The true value of 722 is not suspected by Professor Raymond, but the only record of the formula is now in one of his filing cases at Landfield University. Landfield University. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, sir. The civilian official. Even civilian officials will be pleased to learn that Nabura has a plan to take 722 from Raymond's file. How did Nabura like the report? Just a secret agent X9 makes Nabura very happy. But how he got Miss Moore's car makes Nabura very suspicious of Miss Moore. She's telephoning Captain Groot. And so, Captain Groot, we must make certain about Miss Moore. She could have been helping X-9. I agree, Nabura. We cannot afford to take any chances. The usual code, Captain Korakara, from Captain Groot, Shadow Island. Be at once. On bearings for rendezvous with Miss Moore, sir. Do you think, sir, that Miss Moore is a secret agent instead of merely a traitor? Never trust a traitor, Yogo. If Miss Moore has been tricking us, Kodakaga is in a position to know. And if she is a counter spy? She'll be taken out to sea and shut out of a torpedo tube. Good evening, Captain Kodakaga. Good evening, Miss Moore. Are you ready to broadcast for Japan? That's what I came here for. Good evening, Australia. From Miss Australia. Ask yourself one question. What is Australia getting from this war except death and sorrow? Your loved ones are dying vainly in futile resistance against the mighty empire of the rising sun. For example, nine Allied battleships were sunk today. Remember, you wives, mothers, and sweethearts, it's up to you to stop this senseless destruction. And with that last advice, this is Miss Australia signing off. Miss Moore sounds so bloodthirsty, she almost fools me at times. Mm -hmm. Well, she gave the urgent signal. I think we'd better decode her message in a hurry. Right. I think it might be a good idea if I examine what you have written. It is impossible for me to detect a hidden post just by listening to your broadcast. If 
if I had been in your place, Captain Korakaga, and you in mine, I would have looked for a hidden code long ago. I waited for Captain Groot to call me back and give me the report on this moor from the submarine. Good or bad? Captain Korakaga could find no code in her broadcast. We do not think now she had any connection with X-9. She is returning as usual. But someone helped X-9 before we finally killed him. Whoever it is, X-9 must have told him about Dorgan. Then why worry? You'll try to get in touch with Dorgan at the internment camp. All we have to do is wait for him. That is too slow. We must use Dorgan as a magnet to draw the unknown agent to us. Dorgan just came in, Marker. It'll be his hard luck, Solo, if he starts anything. He never goes anywhere these days unless Nabora tells him to. Usual number, please, Miss Lynn. I didn't expect him back for a day or so. Nor I. If the dog and his return so soon, I should say it was done for some purpose. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Dorgan. Somebody's lost a chance on the next drawing. You would find a ticket. It'll probably win, too. If you win, be just with me. Not grateful, please. What do you mean? Where'd you get this? From the floor at your feet, just now. I was returning from the booth, where I bought a ticket for myself. Have you ever known them to be anywhere else? The lazy good for nothing. Which one? You heard her. Room four. Voila. Down the hall. told you were dead. That's what Nabura would like to think. Sit down, Drag. That note I got. Said I could cut myself in on a big deal. Suppose I swallowed the hook, huh? Give me the information I want and there won't be any hook. What do you think I know? You wrote a letter to Jack Roberts telling him where to pick up a package and asking him to bring it to you. How do you know about Roberts? We got together on board the Swanson before she was torpedoed. He died saving me. And the package? Went down with the Swanson. Did Roberts know what was in that package? 
No, he didn't. But he said you knew. That's what I want you to tell me. Well, there's only one man that knows what was in that package, mister. And it ain't me. Can you get in touch with him? I can try. That is, if it's worth my while. It will be. Well, it's a deal. I may be able to bring him here now. I'll wait. Yeah, I went over there like you told me after showing you that note I got. But was I surprised? Because the guy in room four is Phil Corrigan. I never expected to hear that. I know you didn't. You thought it was the guy that's working with Corrigan. How so? Corrigan ain't dangerous, Nabora. He don't know nothing. Are you sure? Yeah. Then how would you like to make a thousand dollars? How? Getting rid of Corrigan? Yes. But so cleverly that no one can even suspect. That's a cinch. I'll be back in a half hour to pick up that grand. Did you hear? Everything. But please, why kill X-9 before he leads us to his friends? It is safer this way. In a day or so, X-9's friends will miss him and come to dog him. After, of course, they hear the rumor that Dorgan knows where he is. What do you wish me to do? Follow Dorgan and X-9. If anything goes wrong, kill them both. This joint ain't much, but this is where we wait for the guy that you want to talk to about 722. 722? Yeah, well, that's what you're after. Sorry I couldn't get this guy to come and see you, but he's playing it safe, isn't he? Hey, being very helpful, Dorgan. Very helpful. The next time, Dorgan, that you've got to go back to Nabura for instructions, you better make it harder to follow you. Okay. You got me, and I want to live, so I'll talk, huh? That's right. And uh, quick. Tell me what you've heard Groot and the Buddha say about 722, and also what you know about it. Failing to discourage X-9 this time was less important than silencing Dorgan. X-9 himself mentioned 722. Where did he learn that number? I must find out. Perhaps he knows more about our secret than we thought. It is better X-9 escape. X-9 must be made to talk. But how, please? With the help of Lucky Camba. I think the convenient laws of Shadow Island may prove useful. I'm not interested in Drag Dorgan's death, Mr. Corrigan. Unless you fail to live up to our agreement. Okay, fair enough, Mr. Campbell. Well, hello, Nabura. I am your greatest admirer, Mr. Corrigan. But this time, I underestimated you. What are you two talking about? I presume he has made some arrangement to pay protection? Yes, with a 24 hour deadline. Ah, uh, so. Credit, Mr. Corrigan, is not so good as cash. But good enough to stop you, Nabora. You will forget once too often that Japan protects the neutrality of Shadow Island, Mr. Kemba. One ticket for the next drawing, please. How's it going? Nabora knows that I've only got 24 hours to pay lucky protection. Collecting your money isn't going to be easy. Not if Nabura has anything to say about it, but she won't have. Has confirmation come yet? This lottery ticket can't lose. Thank you. Him to ride on one of the trucks across the mountains to Kowloon. 
That ought to throw Nabura's men off the trail if they're following him. Just the same, I'm glad he decided to have you act as a rear guard. <laughs> Top of the grade. Well, I hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks. So do I. You can show yourself. Ah, that's what I want to hear. The package I want from Cargan is being dropped from that plane. Up on. Nabura must have put a driver on that truck. He's getting away with the money and credentials. 